Hello again and welcome back to our course on Excel for Mac 2019. In this module we're going to talk, be talking a little bit more about copying formulas and we've seen this a little bit in previous modules but I really just want to elaborate on some of those options and also throw in a couple of extra things that we haven't covered yet as well. Now we're going to do a fairly straightforward example here but I am going to use a function that you haven't seen before. Now what we're looking at here is the copying formulas worksheet and if you want to follow along or use this data then you will find that in the course files folder and this is a very simple spreadsheet and you don't really need to know too many details about this I've literally just put in a column for January a column for February the column for January is populated with some numbers and these are displayed in currency format so these might relate to sales figures it doesn't really matter what they relate to just the fact that we have numbers there and what I want to do is I want to generate a list of numbers in the February column as well. So I'm going to show you a little function which allows you to generate a random series of numbers. So for example if you ever have to or want to add some dummy data in maybe to test something or just to use then a little function that you may not know about is called rand between and it's this one here and this will allow you to generate a series of numbers between two numbers. So I'm going to say generate a random list of numbers or generate me a number between 5, which is my bottom number, comma, and then 5000 is going to be the upper bracket for that number. So I could essentially, when I hit enter, I could get any random number between 5 and 5000. I'm going to press enter. And there we go. Now I already have currency format applied to this column, which is why it's giving it currency. So that's a really useful little function that not many people uh, point out, but I thought I would here. Now, if I want to copy this formula down, there are a couple of ways that I can do it. We've seen previously that we can use the autofill handle, which is this little green square in the bottom right hand corner. If we hover our mouse over, we can certainly go and drag that down. Now that's fine if your list of data isn't particularly long, but I have quite a lot of rows in this spreadsheet. So dragging down and down is a little bit tedious. A quicker way of copying a formula down is just to double click that autofill handle and it will fill that formula down. Now you'll notice that these numbers have kind of all changed around. That's because it's just a randomly generated number and it will regenerate a random number every time I do something. So every time I touch this formula, it's going to give me a different updated number. But don't worry too much about that. Just be aware that you can double click to copy formulas down. So now what I want to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of a, a hangover from the previous module. What I want to do is I want these numbers, I'm happy with this randomly generated list, and I want to use them in another calculation. But I kind of want to get rid of the underlying RAND formula so that these are just pure numbers in the cells. So this is where I can use my paste options that we looked at in the last module. Now I have this column already highlighted, so I'm going to do Control C to copy this data. I'm going to go up to my paste options and I'm just going to say paste values. And there we go. And essentially what that does is it just pastes what you can see and it removes the underlying formula. So now when I click on these, you'll see in the formula bar, there's no formula underneath that rand between has gone. So now maybe what I want to do is maybe I want to have a column here which shows me the total. So I want to add up January and February and get my total. So I could do an equals sum and I could select these two cells A2 to B2 like so. So now I have my total here and I want to copy this formula down. So I'm going to double click again on the autofill handle. Now what you'll see when you do this is that you get this little cross pop up and this gives you some autofill options. So when I click the drop down here, I have a number of different options that I can choose. So maybe I decide that I want to fill these totals down, but maybe I don't want that currency symbol there. So what I could do is say fill without formatting because that currency symbol is just a piece of formatting, which we're going to look at in further modules. 
So if I say fill without formatting, and there we go, as we scroll down these numbers, you can see that it's removed that currency symbol from those numbers. Something also worth pointing out is that on the home ribbon, over in the editing group, you have a fill option here as well. So it's this one here, which is collapsed up on my screen. It might be expanded on yours, but if you click the drop down, you can also auto fill down, right, up, left, so on and so forth. So you have those options as well. But by far the quickest way of copying formulas down is by using the auto fill handle. So that was just a very quick run through of a couple of different ways that you can also copy down formulas and it's also introduced you to that rand between function if you ever need to generate a random list of dummy numbers. That's it for this module. In the next module we're going to be doing a practice exercise, so please join me for that. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And click over there to get the complete Excel for Mac 2019 beginners course. And click over there to watch the complete set of Excel Mac videos in this playlist.